السلام عليكم يا أهل غزة السلام عليكم يا أهل فلسطين السلام عليكم the free people around the world who cherish freedom, justice and dignity May Allah support and help the people of Gaza and grant them victory Welcome to another video about Katia Automation The question with automation is not a question of need but of investment because every client wants his job to be done quickly even if there is no urgency and also it's in the interest of every service provider to finish the job quickly even with a flexible deadline so there is always a need for solutions to save time and automation is not just effective to save time but also to relieve the designer from silly boring but breaking mind-numbing repetitive tasks in this video I want to show you how to automate a repetitive task like these we want here to generate a curved and parametric 3d text automatically with Katia v5 here to generate the text I need some inputs I need to create I need to have a surface and a curve uh, supported on this surface so I'm going to create a parallel curve to these boundaries okay so this is the support I want to reverse the direction and here is the curve so the text I want I want it to be to be normal to the surface and along the curve Okay, how to do it? I stored a power copy inside a catalog. I instantiated, select, um, let's create this. So I need to select the inputs, the surface and the curve and modify these parameters. So in this field text, I write the text that I want, for example, Design it by um, yes. Let's click OK and see the result. Okay, good. Okay, the first remark is that the text is larger than the surface, so I need to reduce its size. To the half again uh, next is that the text is generated from right to left so I need to reverse the curve direction uh, the text is upside down so I reverse the surface direction good uh, I may want to move the text to the right along the curve so here I add more spaces uh, okay here the text exceeds the limit so I can reduce the spacing between letters good if I want to uh, move the text down I can change this parameter point position which position the text relatively to the curve so let's for example um, put right center here good I can also uh, reduce the height of these letters with this first and second limit just put for example two here and I can do one for the opposite direction good I can also um, create um, formulas with these parameters for example associate this text um, with a part number okay so the text will be equal to the name of the part to add more spaces I just add them before the part number like this okay 
Okay. Uh, as you can see here, the curvature is not good, so I can create a new curve, smoother curve, then replace the old one. Uh, let me show you how to do it. So I create the smoother curve, um, continuous in curvature. And this is the curve. The maximum deviation can, let's make it two, for example, and let's see the result. Here is the smoother curve. Um, and to replace the input, I can go to uh, replace with the replace button of Katia, replace the spiral curve with the smooth curve, or I can put another input or a new input inside this list of inputs. So I select the parallel curve, the smoother curve, and click on add and update or execute the knowledge, this knowledge pattern. Good. Um, as you can see here, the great thing with parametric design is this possibility of modification. Modifications are made uh, quickly and easily. Um, finally, I can modify the font of the text. Here I have just prepared two fonts, but I can add more according to the client preferences. Good. Uh, finally, as you can see, that the text is generated in a separate body. So I can assemble it to the part body with Boolean operations. For example, with, um, uh, with a remove or add. So this is a remove. Okay. Or I can make add. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, creating a parametric design simplifies and accelerates modifications. Okay, so how this text is created or how this automation works. So if you want to know more about it, I invite you to reach me uh, by LinkedIn or by email and I will explain to you how it works. And if you want to learn more about Katia Automation, I will be happy to share with you what I can, or if you want to participate in a training, this will be a pleasure for me. So thank you for watching.